to another edition of the Morning Cup. Yes. Paige Arizona's Morning Show. This show is for entertainment purposes only. <laughs> thank you guys for being here. Thank you for liking, commenting, and sharing on all of these videos. Yes, we do appreciate you. it. We do, we do. It helps. Yes, it Blah. does. <laughs> it's <laughs> Friday. Oh. Oh. Oh, Friday. Wow. Friday. If I had... it's not your Friday, my heart feels for you. Yes, pretty much. <laughs> Now, let's see, Michael says, good morning and happy Friday. Good morning. <laughs> and Scott's saying, uh, happy Friday morning, y'all. Happy Friday morning to you, too. Good morning. And and um, I just have to uh, shout, give a shout out oh. to Scott. Um, Scott, I, I am really glad that you type out y'all uh, because I do the same thing. And I haven't met anybody else who actually does that. <laughs> I do it. No, you don't. Occasionally when I say y'all. Or how do you... No, you type it? Yeah. You do? Uh -huh. oh, well, I guess I've never seen it because you don't... <laughs> I don't... Yeah. I, you're right over there, Lois. Yeah, pretty you're much. Right there. I guess I get it. But I do. I, I, I type out y'all. <laughs> yep. So, good on you. Thanks for letting me know I'm not the only one. <laughs> well, I used to, kid. <laughs> Carrie says, good morning, TGIF, TGIF. Oh, yes, definitely. Oh, <laughs> good man, morning. I tell you. And Gina says, good morning, good morning, Gina. Good morning. Good to see you. All you guys, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for liking, commenting, and sharing. Oh, boy. <laughs> there was the robot voice. Uh, <laughs> I'm dead. I don't know what's going on today. So I decided that I was going to wear this. Maybe it would make me feel better. It will eventually. It's not working. It takes time to absorb. No, you're you're no, trying man. to osmose it, and that takes time. <laughs> what if I hit it really hard and make it go in? <laughs> no. <laughs> it's not working that, that does. <laughs> I was going to say, that does not speed up the process. Uh, uh, <laughs> well, it'll get better. It will. I don't know what's going on with me today. My guts are all turning, and I'm just like, ugh, and I'm extra. <laughs> That's what it is. That's what it is. It took me a second to identify it, but... Uh, <laughs> Yeah, pretty much, pretty much. You've been grump toady most of the week. It's probably your fault. It's almost like you're PMSy. <laughs> hey! <laughs> I said almost like. Not that you are. That's not me. It is true, though. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Just... Whatever it is, I'm sure it's your fault. Uh, probably. Yeah, just saying. I'm going to take the comments over here. Vicious man. Vicious. Kelly says, morning, guys. My Friday isn't until tomorrow, then just Sunday off. Oh, Ooh, bummer. I'm sorry yes. to hear that. But good morning. Good morning. Thank you for being here. Yes. Hopefully your day is amazing. If if it's not, if you feel like I do, maybe try wearing a superhero shirt. Maybe it'll make you feel better. It may. It's not working for me, but it, it could it, work for you. It takes time to, to absorb. Uh, you just trying to come up with That's a lot of power, excuses. man. That's a lot of power. If you absorbed it all at once, you'd explode. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that would be better at this. I just yeah, and no, <laughs> we don't need to see that. But then again, that would make some for some really good rating. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that's that. I'm, there's some things I, I want to talk about with that one, but I can't on the morning show. <laughs> David says yes, it is fire for a <laughs> and Michael says grump toad look yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. pretty much. I, I I think on the the days uh, that you're grump toady. Um, but then again, this is probably a really bad idea. Uh oh. Um, the, the mascot should not be Rupert. It should be the Grump Toad. The Grump Toad. It, yeah. I don't know, but, but, may, but maybe the Rupert would, would make me smile. Uh, maybe, maybe, Probably but not. what I'm, what I'm getting at is, is, you know, um, since this week you have been overtly Grump Toadish, <laughs> we, we would no longer have a Rupert. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, just need room to uh, Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what's going on. It's just driving me crazy. I don't. I couldn't tell you. Right, Maybe not enough know. vitamins. Mm. <laughs> uh, <laughs> could be. It could be. Right. <coughs> uh, let's see. Indigo says today is your Friday. Today is my Tuesday. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> And Scott says uh, he's been grump toed because of y'all's internet issues. Yeah. yeah That's one of the many problems going on around here. I'll tell you what. One of the many, many problems. <laughs> <coughs> yeah. Okay, can I go now? No. Good Lord, no. <laughs> Unless you want to take care of the dog. Yeah. yeah. Maybe that's why I'm grump toady. Damn dogs. Ugh. 
Oh, oh no. Uh, let's see. Oh, Dave, Dave says, uh, pissy man syndrome. As an FYI, guys actually do have a monthly cycle where they do have emotional swings. The problem is, I don't have emotions. I am a robot. <laughs> I can hear that look. I can hear the look. Oh, no. Indigo says, laughing my butt off, grumpy people suck. Why, Except thank you. He makes it funny. <laughs> She's a nice duck. <laughs> My snowflake is flaring up. Oh, Somebody get a hair dryer and take Lord. me out. <laughs> no, that's not yours. Yours is... Remember? We went over this. Mine got an upgrade. <laughs> oh, you got upgraded. But yours actually plugs in now? Yes. Jerry says, uh, are you uh, taking those testosterone <laughs> supplements? My man is a total bleep when he's taking them. No, but I probably should. <laughs> Tell you what, man. I'm just... <laughs> Lack of energy or something. I don't know. It's terrible. Maybe you're right. It's lack of vitamins. Yeah, probably. I don't know. I do know. So we were. I don't know. Did I bring it up in the show? Yeah, I don't know. What are you? I. What? Oh. Yeah. No one can read your thoughts. You're yeah. supposed to be able to read my thoughts. Okay. No. No. Was... no. no. After after you mentioning a flow chart and everything yesterday about no, your Dave. thoughts. Um, no, you mentioned it as well. Um, I started paying attention. There is no way. <laughs> no freaking way. <coughs> so, Let yeah, me check the comments before I move thoughts. on. I do, have, I do have some things. David says, uh, keep Rupert uh, free cage, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Indigo says, uh, you know, it's like Chris laughing my butt. All right. All right. Thank you. Now I feel better. So uh, one of the things that I wanted to do... What? Oh, come on, man. You're messing with the flow. Oh. No, 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 I'm not. Mm -mm. Wrong show. <laughs> the thought that came across my, oh. my brain. Yeah, that happens a lot where I'm yeah. just like, and I, won't, I can't. Because, even though this show is for the 10 purposes only, we got to keep it PG-13, and we try not to be too political. But, you know, occasionally There are times. Yeah. <laughs> but we try and watch it. And uh, the news, this is not the news. This is for entertainment purposes only. The and news yes. is definitely not a place for opinions or things. So we had yeah. somebody that, that commented last mm -hmm. night asking a question that, you know, normally I wouldn't have a problem answering. But when it's on the news, well, it's not an opinion piece. Uh, yeah, no. So we don't talk about that on the news because that is the news. This is not CNN. This is not MSNBC. This is not Fox. Or any of the others. It's news. <laughs> well, this isn't news. This is the morning show. But yeah. when it's the news, we present the news because it's news. It doesn't need to be colored. <laughs> no, no, no. I, I try to keep it as gray as possible. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's a color. What? <laughs> well, it's the mixture, you know. Oh, uh, Indigo is giving me line. a heart. Thank you, Indigo. Uh, Carrie says, uh, not too often anyway, only with Toadface. <laughs> <laughs> Lee says, good morning, you both from Canab. Good morning. Good, morning, good to see you, Canab. Good morning, Canab. Renee says, good morning. Come on, Renee. <laughs> good to see you. All right, so now back on to my wacky train of thought. <laughs> Where was I going? Oh, okay. So I anyway, know. I don't know if I talked about this on the morning show or not. I know we've talked about it before, but one of the most despised things in existence, at least in my book, which means it's true, <laughs> and it's presented an absolute fact. Warning, the show is for the purposes only. Peeps are the most disgusting, horrifying thing on earth. Yes, we have talked about this on the morning show. A lot this week, actually. Yes, we have. And and so, you know, <laughs> for those of you that are behind the hat, uh, unplugged, and for those of you that don't know what that is, that is our behind-the-scenes group that you can join and help support the cause for $10 a month. But they've been seeing some odd pictures come across uh, their feed. And I was going to share a little bit of uh, what is in the works Maybe that's part of the reason why I'm grumpy, is because I wanted to start doing it yesterday, but the freaking weather wouldn't cooperate. It was windy and kind of drizzly, and then it was a little bit sunny, and then windy, it was like, Arr. Yep, PMS. <laughs> <laughs> the wind blew in the wrong direction. <laughs> <coughs> it did. It blew up my skirt. I don't know. <laughs> don't you mean your kilt? <laughs> sure. Yeah. We'll go with that. Oh, ow. <laughs> David says, uh, be careful, I turn on a dime. Chris, you really don't have to be caged. <laughs> <laughs> and Ray says, uh, yeah. 
peeps, man. Blech. Gina says, uh, I had to leave and come back. Phone, Facebook, or internet giving me problems. Blech. Or a combination of all. Yeah, you know, you're just basically 24, you know what? First world problems, right? <laughs> yeah, there you we go. We have them all the time, my Andrew. <laughs> all right, so moving on to the peep thing. There is a project that I am working on right now. I'm going to be storyboarding it. But um, I haven't really come up with a title yet. But there's going to be all kinds of mayhem going on with people. I'm going to be putting together a video. It's going to be mostly for the... Uh, it's going to be put on the YouTube side. We'll share a link over here to Facebook. But we're going to be doing it on Facebook. It's going to be a traditionally edited video. Which doesn't happen very often because we do everything live. Mm -hmm. But I miss doing the edited videos because they're fun. And you can do a lot more. Yeah. <laughs> That's going to be a lot of fun stuff. Because we can speed up through, so, through the yeah, yeah three hours of prep. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. But uh, <clears throat> anyway, so uh, this is going to be the Peepocalypse, as I'm calling it. What? Nothing. The Peepocalypse. No. Now I can't even see it. <laughs> So, I plan on doing an entire series of different horrifying things to peep and, and peeps and, and scientific experiments with peeps and maybe some things that you guys have never seen before. It's going to be a whole montage of things. And I'm probably going to make it, it's actually going to be, there's going to be like the main video, then there will be like a, a, you know, maybe like an explanation video or like a behind the scenes. It'll be like both. Well, you know, just okay. edit them in different ways. But uh, one of the things that I got for them are, are these little guys. Can you guys see that? Little... He's almost see-through. He is. He's a, he's a little tiny fuzzy peep. <laughs> you see that? He is. I mean, look. If you look at his outline, he's, he's almost see-through. I, I don't care. Which is funny. <laughs> that one's probably invisible. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, yellow doesn't stand out well here. Uh, no, no, it does not. <laughs> yeah, look at that. Ooh. Oh, peeps so, with active camo. Yeah. Um. So Gina saying oh. yes, a combination. Uh, and um, Renee says we were in Canab yesterday, and between here and there, it was snowy. Oh wow. Excuse me. And uh, uh, Gina says peeps gone wild. I like it. I like it. <laughs> yeah, I haven't come up with an official title yet, but it's getting there. And Gina says the life and death of peeps. I like that. That's <laughs> nice. You guys are awesome. Good work on that. <laughs> Renee says, peeps are nasty and just yuck in general. Exactly, which is why we are going to destroy them all. <laughs> in uh, in very uh, interesting ways. Antelope King says, what up? What up, Antelope yeah, King? Good to see you. Thanks <laughs> for being here. Michael says, peep apocalypse. Yes, it's yes. the peepocalypse. You just, peep? No, peepocalypse. Peepocalypse. Okay. I don't know, man. I'm lost. <laughs> anyway. You had it yesterday. So, it's so, been more than 30 seconds. <laughs> I, I don't even know. But anyway, so you guys have some amazing titles. I'm going to take those into account, I think, because uh, this is going to be epic. Or so at least I hope it's going to be more. epic. Yeah, come up with some more. Put them down in the comments there. <laughs> but uh, one of the things that we were talking about, because I wanted to do all kinds of death and destruction of peeps, was uh, these ones. You Like I said, you, you can kind of see this one. I'm going to get this off of here. Mm. So, <laughs> this is a little tiny stuffed peep. This is not an edible peep. One of the things that I wanted to do was uh, destroy those as well. Unfortunately, somebody <laughs> finds them adorable. I do! And cute. They're stuffed! And doesn't want me to destroy the big one. <laughs> Look at that. Do you see the size of this thing? Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> Is a giant stuffed peep, man. <laughs> well, it looks like a de like devil horn. Like, argh, argh. Is a giant stuffed peep. So before you continue, the wave is waving. Hi, Hi wave. <laughs> so yeah, yeah. So this was it. this was on the chopping block, but instead of we. So I got this one. Compromise. I did. So this one is for Lois because yes. she's it's cute. She's it's now stuffed. sleeping with the peep. I am. She is sleeping with the peep. People. It's a it's a really nice pillow. <coughs> I just have to worry about Tigger stealing it from me. Yeah, Tigger saw it and was like, oh. <laughs> oh. And it's like, no. Stupid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she loves to destroy anything that's stuffed. 
Yeah, <laughs> she does. And there's something well, about like this smell. It, yeah, I will hold the peak. You will hold the peak. Okay. I will hold the peak. <laughs> so, so, so instead of destroying the big one that I got for Lois, we decided to get the little ones because they're apparently slightly less emotionally attached. <laughs> no, it, it, they're they're cute. I didn't see the little ones before. Oh, <laughs> all right, shoot. <laughs> Means I'm gonna have to get a whole other set. No, no. It's one of the like... things I find interesting is on their butt it actually says peep. <laughs> There's a little plastic thing that's like glued or sewed to their butt. It actually says peep. It's probably not in focus there. I don't even know. Oh, we got counted. Hold on. Let me get over here. All right, let's see. The wave is waving. All right. Uh, Kelly says, woohoo, I love those plush peeps. I wanted to buy you guys one and set it on your vehicle the other day. Oh, I thank oh, you. <laughs> Uh, Gina says, cute peep. Yes, See, I'm not the only one. It's the stuffed ones that are adorable. I know it's The cute. marshmallow ones, not so much. I was just going to light it on fire. Oh, good lord. What? That's what marshmallow ones are. Uh, those are going to burn, too. <laughs> I'm telling you, man. Come on. Oh, goodness. Uh, let's see. Horseshoe Ben says, hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Does the snow make my butt look big? No. No, no. I think it, it's a nice little accent there. <laughs> <laughs> It's very, very curvy and sexy right there. <laughs> oh, my. Uh, let's see. Uh, Renee says, uh, the plush is cute, but I still won't eat them. No, not eating them. But we will be doing other things to them. <laughs> Uh-oh. You, you know, it's know. really funny. You were laughing like that all day yesterday as you were going in and out of the house. Yes, I was doing things. Yeah. Yes. As I'm doing homework, <coughs> as I'm doing homework, I hear the door continuously open and close, open and close, open and close. I was setting and, up my lamp. And every once in a while, like every two or three times, the door would open and close. I hear <laughs> this just this evil laugh. What? <laughs> And just so you know, it's not just going to be normal fire. There's going to be some interesting things going on as well. Oh, some exciting chemistry going on. You got comments. Oh, jeez. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, Michael says, oh, a cute peep. Yes, he's cute. Uh -huh. He's going to burn. No, and uh, Gary says, uh, uh, damage. Since when did the ads get added to the show? What ads? What? There's ads? What? What ads? Wait, what? 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 That means somebody else is making money off of our show. It does. We sure as hell aren't making any money off of it. <laughs> anyway, let's I, move on. I now. did not realize. Yeah, thanks for letting us know. Does yeah. anybody else see ads? What the heck? Uh, let's see. Carrie says, all right, let's blast it. Not this one. <laughs> we'll have to get another one. I, yeah, the, you don't understand. I went down to Walmart for for the uh, peep. Uh, what? David's oh. comment. David says, uh, is there a law against poking peeps in public? David. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, oh, um. <laughs> different channel, man. Yeah, different, different channel, channel. Different channel. <laughs> <laughs> That's unplugged. Uh, Scott says, uh, it would have been the plush peep for the flaming peep to land in. <laughs> <laughs> That's what he had actually planned yes, on. Yes, it was going to be a bow and an arrow and a flaming peep hitting the stuffy and it burst into flames. And then he shows up with two smaller peeps and I say, um... That's a really, really small target. It is. It is. <laughs> so, you know, some camera magic. It'll happen either way. Just saying. Gina says, up in a blaze of peep glory. Oh, my. <laughs> oh, oh, Gary says, attack of the mini flaming peeps stuffed with grapes. <laughs> oh, my. Oh, yeah. I was going to get grapes yesterday to do the plasma experiment. Walmart doesn't have grapes. <laughs> Just throwing that out there. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, Gina says, no ads here. Good. Glad okay. to hear it. Uh, where are you seeing the... I don't know. That's I have interesting. no idea. It yeah. is. Let us know. What ads was it? Yeah, that's interesting. Scott says, uh, we haven't seen any ads. Good. Good. Glad to hear it. Uh, uh, Carrie says, uh, it was a huge casino ad. Huh. huh. That's odd. It um, is. Yeah. Huh. Interesting. Well, nobody else is seeing it, Carrie. Yeah, keep us posted if you're seeing yeah, those please. ads. Yeah, <coughs> that's, that's interesting. Yeah, because it, it, believe me, if we're putting ads up, we better be making some flipping money off of it. And That's we, all I'm saying. <laughs> ain't no money in doing this stuff, guys. We do it here for your entertainment. Although at some point, uh, there is a sponsorship opportunity available. Just saying. 
putting that out there. If you are a business owner and you're interested in sponsoring the show, let us know. Give me that. You're going to get dog hair. Yeah, I know. That's what I was looking for. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so I went down to Wally World yesterday to uh, to stock up for the peep apocalypse. Let me tell you, man, the amount of stuff that I got yesterday was ridiculous. Yeah. I spent almost $100 on peeps and peep-related supplies. So this video is not going to be cheap. But we do it because we love you. And hey, peeps. What? What? <laughs> what? I just... What? Nope. <laughs> What's nope? Now I'm lost. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, but then there was also the other stuff that I got, so it uh, added up. Yeah, it was about $100 all together. I know. Right? I know. I'm just... You're just trying to minimise what I did. That's what no, I did. no, no, I'm not. I'm horrified by what you did. Yeah, I probably shouldn't have spent that kind of money, because I can't really afford it. <laughs> but we've got to do it, man. Oh, boy. And just say oh. it. It's going to be amazing. Oh, it will goodness. be. Uh, Scott says it's probably from her news feed. It could be. I don't know. Yeah. Either way, they shouldn't be putting ads on my video. So um, there is a there is a way to get that done so that we can monetize it and actually get some stuff on it. But we don't qualify because you guys don't like comment and sure enough. Just kidding. no, he's kidding. Yeah, I'm kidding. <laughs> no, it's uh, the, you. Yeah, it's complicated. It's Facebook. It's a pain in the butt. But anyway, what about Facebook? Isn't complicated. Yeah, pretty and, much. And it's, it's such a headache. <laughs> but anyway, one of the things that I did notice um, while I was at, and I didn't bring them all in here, but here are the devil things themselves. A little box. Yeah, there. see, different. Mm -hmm. Ew. Ugh. Yeah, they're gross. Horrifying little nasty things. They Ugh. are. And you had them out on the counter yesterday. You, you he he opened a pack yesterday and he had them out on the counter and I was thinking about just ripping the head off. <laughs> He's like, <"Bleh."> "No." <laughs> they have different flavors of peeps now. I didn't know this was a thing, but there's like sour stuff, watermelon, water, sour melon. Yeah, sour watermelon yeah. and like blue raspberry. And I, you, you, you know what? It's like polishing a turd, man. It still tastes like a turd. But they don't make them for adults, really. Yeah. They make them for kids. Yeah, but that much sugar. You, a one peep is enough sugar for like a lifetime. I'm just saying, that's a lot okay, of sugar, Okay, but man. when you're a kid, you really don't care. <laughs> the more the sugar, the better. Gary <laughs> says, uh, three days in a row. It, because it raises my comment that I was writing at the time. Undercover Facebook censorship. Huh. Huh. Interesting. I don't know, Carrie. Yeah. yeah, it's definitely not us. So that's a Facebook thing. It, it sounds like it almost. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. I don't know. That's that interesting. That is weird. Very strange. Very strange. Mm. One thing I just noticed, and I don't know why I just noticed this, is that the peeps are chicken, or chickens, and some of the peeps are bunnies. Okay, because because the the peep this peep is a bunny, and yeah. those peeps are chickens. I I think it's a little difficult to make a stuffed chicken peep. I don't know. <laughs> and make it look like a peep. I'm just saying. That's kind of, that's interesting. I, I don't there know why I just There are some bunny rabbits. That. Are there? Okay. Yeah, yeah, some marshmallow bunny rabbits. Well, apparently I gotta go back to the store <laughs> to find those ones. No, you don't. <laughs> no. Oh, Lois. No, you don't. You're killing uh -uh. me, Smalls. You're killing me. No, you're killing me. <laughs> Jesus says, kids love peeps. Yes, they do. As a child, I hated them as well. I didn't care for them either, but my sister... Oh, my goodness. Did your sister like them? Oh. I think she still does, actually. Oh. oh she doesn't need to be watching that video, then. I'll tell you that. Like, like also, um, gro <laughs> being kids, she loved the Cadbury eggs. Oh, I, I hated those. those. Oh, I loved them. And then they changed the recipe, and I don't like them anymore. Uh, see, and it took until adulthood for me to like them. And then they and, changed it. And I think because they changed the recipe, I liked them. <laughs> oh, man. David says uh, peeps bring piss ants. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. Mm -hmm. uh, so anyway, that is uh, something that is going to be coming up. Hopefully you guys look forward to it. And when we get it up on YouTube, make sure you share that thing and comment on it and do all the fun stuff. Because we're trying to grow the YouTube channel a little bit. Um, uh, no, like 99.9% .9 of all of our stuff is here on Facebook. Yes. YouTube is easier to monetize so we can actually keep this freak show on the, on the train here. The crazy <laughs> train. So, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll be working on that. Uh, to monetize YouTube, you have to have 4,000 hours of watch time and 1,000 subscribers. 
Oi. Yeah. So, you know, since we haven't been focusing on the YouTube side of things, it's a little lacking. Uh, yeah, just a bit. Yeah, everything was over here on the Facebook side of things. But Facebook is better for networking and blah, blah, blah. It, yes, But it it's is. also more of a headache because of the algorithm, this and the doodah, that, and blah, blah, blah. <laughs> You know, some days it's just like, <laughs> no more. Make it stop. <laughs> <coughs> so, yeah. Anyway, look forward to that and uh, yeah, could be yes. interesting. Hopefully the weather is nicer today so that I can start burning some stuff. I've seen big fluffy gray clouds. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Sorry. Yeah, I see the how it is. You're just, you're really good at it. David says, uh, how about Reese's eggs? I actually like those. I like Reese's peanut butter cups, and I like Reese's peanut butter eggs. I like Reese's peanut butter pretty much in anything, including yeah. my ice cream. He does. Uh, yes. David, Yeah, David says Reese's. Yeah, we, we got you. We got you. Uh, Gina says, uh, you don't like Cadbury eggs. Yeah, I can only eat like one a year because they're so sweet. <laughs> yes, yes. But I do like them. It's like um, Mom, Mama Lois will, uh, every holiday... Seize Candy comes out with a, oh, a yes. signature chocolate Egg. thing. And uh, surprisingly, she she missed St. Patty's Day with the Irish potatoes. But oh. Um, <laughs> Irish potatoes? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They're a marshmallow thing. But it, it's good. It's good marshmallow. You have had it before. Oh, you okay. actually liked it. I don't like marshmallows. Um, it's not like Peep's marshmallow. Oh, oh. Um, <laughs> it's not marshmallow. It's some kind of chemical concoction that causes death. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. But um, for Easter, they, they bring out Easter eggs oh, okay. where they have a hard shell. Oh, and yeah, yeah, some, we had some of those. Yeah, oh, okay. and yeah. those things will last like a year because they're so rich. I know. <laughs> you have to do like a slice a month. We still have uh, those, what are those, those Halloween <clears throat> orange cookie things? Uh-huh. Those are still in the freezer because the you can only wafers. take so many. Yeah, yeah you can. They're so rich. Oh. <laughs> I tell you what, man, it's crazy. It, it is, it is. Scott says, uh, how do we find you on YouTube? Look for LPNN. Or you can just type in Lake Powell News. Look for the logo. Pretty much. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> As matter, I, I, if you want, if, if, I, I will get us nerfed because see that that's one of our fun problems that we have. Facebook hates YouTube and YouTube hates Facebook. So when we post links across each other, both sites nerf it and it makes a nice mess. Until one buys off the other. <laughs> <sighs> yeah. Well, you know, YouTube is the second largest search engine on Earth. Do you know what the first one is? Google. Yep. You know what the third one is? Not a clue. Facebook. Oh, okay. Yeah. So Google owns YouTube. So I just, it's like... It's so just, yeah, once yeah. one buys out the other, then they'll all get along. L-P-N-N. <laughs> Let's see if that'll pull it up. Nope. No. What is that? I don't know. Okay, so don't type in L-P-N-N. <laughs> Let's try Lake Powell News. <laughs> I've never tried to Google myself on YouTube, or I guess YouTube myself, or tube myself. <laughs> oh, God. I don't even Why know. Why did you even go there? <laughs> Let's see, type in Lake Powell News Network. We're the first one. Yep. Yep. There you go. All and uh, right. we only have 537 videos on that YouTube channel uh, because we only do the live broadcast from in studio over there. We have well mm -hmm. over a thousand here on Facebook. So yep. here, I will go ahead and put the link in the comments below. Uh, ah. Let's see, Dave says, shh, don't tell Facebook about the behind-the-scenes plan going on YouTube. Hey, <laughs> snake, snake. Yeah, you know what? They're going to nerf it anyway. So I'm just, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Some days it's like, whatever. What do you do? So there is the link to the YouTube channel, guys. Yep. <clears throat> and, uh, yeah, it says, look, it's, look, it says we're live right now. If you want to watch over there instead of on Facebook, feel free to. Unfortunately, well, because no, uh, not as many people watch it on YouTube yet, uh, we don't really pay attention to the comments over there. Yeah. And our internet connection is not strong enough to watch both streams and catch the comments. So if you want to get... Yeah, we get tried the, that before. It doesn't work. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, so if you want to get your comments seen, you have to be on Facebook for now. <laughs> Just saying, for now. <laughs> <coughs> but uh, anyway, so let's see. Wait, wait, there was some other stuff I wanted to talk about. There's the Peepocalypse. Oh, yeah! Um, so we talked about this on the news last night. There's an article about it. And now we're going to talk about it on the morning. Cup. Warning, this show's for entertainment purposes only. <laughs> Keep going. Keep going. Oh, my. She. Oh. You don't want me to talk about it? I do. Oh. Just keep going. Oh, my. Really? 
Good Lord, <laughs> snowflake. Anyway. You were calling me a snowflake the other day. Yes. Look at you. It rubbed off. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, your dog being a snowflake, he rubbed off on me. I don't oh. know. Man. Anyway, back to my stuff before I was so rudely interrupted. <laughs> anyway. So, we were talking about it on the news last night. There's an article on our website about it at lakepalnews.com. So, if you don't know about the website, see, you can find us here on Facebook. Mm -hmm. You can find us on YouTube. You can find us on Twitter. You can find us on Instagram. And you can find us on Twitch. And we have a website. Yep. Lakepalnews.com. So, <laughs> if you're interested in the article, we've got all kinds of stuff on there anyway. But, the interesting news that came up last night is... There is a possibility we might be getting a new restaurant here in Page, Arizona. Yeah, huh? Yeah, yeah. We'll have to see how it goes. Yes, Domino's Pizza is making a presentation at the city council meeting next week. Finangle thing in Mobob. <laughs> which, by the way, is on the 27th, not the 28th. It, yes, sorry. I, I, for some reason, I thought yesterday was Wednesday. <laughs> I'm just saying. So all I did was, you know. Okay, seven days. Yes, Man. but you did it in only one place. The rest of it was proper. <laughs> you guys have no idea what I'm talking about, probably, but she put in the wrong date for when the meeting's going on, but then there was another one that had the same date, and she got that one right, and I'm just like, what the... Which, what the if you think about, is even worse since I'm on council. I know, you're on the council, and you're like, la, 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 la. <laughs> don't even know what's going on, man. That's all I'm saying. Oh, I'd show up a day late. <laughs> no. Pretty much. Nice. But anyway, so there's a Domino's Pizza coming in to do a presentation. They're talking about they want to get a section of Block 17 here in Page. And for those of you that have no idea what Block 17 is, which is apparently a lot, uh, that's the section that has uh, the Dam Barn Grill, State 48, True Value, that whole building, the entire area, all the way around it. That's all Block 17. Yes. Both sides of it. And uh, the proposed location for the new Domino's Pizza Place is going to be where they used to sell all Ooh. the used cars over uh, across from Bank of the West and the hospital in that corner mm -hmm. right there where they used to sell all the used cars. Yep, yep. So, uh, yeah, what do you think about that? A little Domino's Pizza action going on. David says, uh, Pizza the Hut? No, we have Pizza the Hut. Yes, we do. <laughs> we do. And uh, this is the funny thing. So Pizza Hut is on Block 17 on this corner, and Domino's wants to come in and go on this corner. <laughs> so Block 17 is getting invaded by pizza places. I don't know. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Dave says, uh, okay, everyone over to YouTube right now. <laughs> Dave says, maybe they can fill potholes. <laughs> <laughs> I was talking about that yesterday. That was actually where I was going with this. <laughs> so, for those of you that don't know, we reported on this a while back. Domino's Pizza was actually helping cities fill in potholes to help their delivery drivers deliver pizza better. Mm -hmm. And they were putting their logo and stuff on it. So maybe this one will do the same. Who knows? Um, actually, I was thinking about certain certain streets that yeah. would see a lot of that traffic. Uh -huh. They'd have to repair the entire thing, not just... Yeah. Those are know, on the list, though, from the city. They're supposed yeah, to be repairing them, They so. are, they are. <laughs> we'll see if they ever actually get around to it, though. I know it's weather, blah, blah, blah. I was going to say, geez, really? Come on and get it done already. You have a certain... I know. ...weather thing that you have know, to do for asphalt to work properly. I'm tired of waiting. <laughs> I'm tired. I mean, I'm sure they are too. <laughs> uh, let's see. Carrie says, like we don't have enough pizza and Mexican restaurants. Okay. I'm going to address this, this right freaking this, now. This is why I said warning. This show's for entertainment purposes only. Yes. <laughs> it is. This is the thing. Okay. I haven't had Domino's in 20 years. I don't care what it is. I don't care what kind of business it is. It is a brand new business from out of town with out of town owners that is coming to Page to do business. And it's a franchise. It's a national franchise. Yeah, it's a national franchise. That is good. That is a start. The more of those that come in, the more that are likely to come in, which means we can get real restaurants and real other things. You got to start small. You got to start somewhere or it's never going to happen. The fact that they're coming here... It's amazing. Yes. yes. So, yes, I agree. We got a lot of pizza joints. We got a lot of burger joints. I don't care. It's a new business from outside of town. So, it's not part of the good old boy network. Morning. This show's for entertainment purposes only. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> that's a whole nother show. But anyway, that's a good thing because businesses that come from the real world and not Page, Arizona, actually know what they're doing. <laughs> actually, 
saying. There are some that know what they're doing. Yeah, no, I, there it is, is that. I'm just saying it's good to have outsiders come in and want to do business here in Page. It's amazing. It, yes, it, it you know, puts us and, further on the map, mm-hmm. and, yeah. and 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 if one national chain comes in, other ones will look at that and be like, "What are they doing? Maybe we should be doing that." So the odds of you getting other chains start going up. Good thing, very good, very good. M- yes, very good. Yes, very well. Yes. <laughs> okay. Anyway. Yeah, that's definitely another yes, show. Yes, I guess it is. <laughs> uh, Gina says Ace Hardware. Yes, true value. Oh yeah, it's yeah, not yeah. true value <laughs> anymore. Whatever. Yeah, you can tell he's been here a while. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> and says, uh, man, there was a lot of negative remarks about Domino's. I love Domino's. They have the best pizza in California. Like I said, <laughs> don't care. It's awesome that they're coming into town. And I, I this is a funny thing. So. There's only one place in Page, Arizona that drives delivery stuff, and it's Pizza Hut. Now we're going to have two. It's going to be Domino's. So you're going to have two pizza places that deliver, and that's it. Yeah. <laughs> that's kind of funny. I, it just made me chuckle. See, and, and for me, it's not, it's not <coughs> necessarily, you know, <coughs> a, a negative thing if, mm. if um, people from here in town bring in new businesses and yada 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 mm-hmm. it's it, it it's just after hearing com hearing comments from people seeing comments from people a lot of people want the national stuff yeah and this is one of them this is one of them um you gotta start this somewhere man. you do you do mm-hmm. you know and so it's it's we we Whoa. have to it it takes time guys I know. It really does. I mean, how long has it been since we had, uh, you know, a, a, an out-of-town large chain thing come into town and set up shop? It's been a long time. I was going to say, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> not, not one that's been here for a while. Like, you know, yeah, they're, they're just, just, yeah. it's it's pretty cool. We'll have to see what happens. Uh, Scott says, uh, Dolores, yes. Panda, yes. Chick-fil-A, yes. Get rid of some of the subways. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's the that, other thing. Too. I, do, I don't understand. <laughs> we got, how many subways do we have in this town? <laughs> I mean, holy hell. You're going to be doing good. You know, one of the things I do miss, though, we had a Quiznos here for a while. Quiznos and that's, had problems. I don't care. It was... It, it, uh, I love Quiznos. I know. Quiznos is like Subway for adults. <laughs> it's amazing. And, and then it went away, and I was very sad. I don't know what happened. I don't care. It's just sad. <laughs> there were, Apparently, there was some stuff going on behind the scenes, but whatever. <laughs> Either way, I was very sad to see that go. That sounds like every business. Yeah, There's always know. stuff going on behind the scenes. Yeah, I don't know. Some of them are, you know, most of them aren't crazy like us. And yeah, so hopefully you know, if, if the Domino's actually comes to town, hopefully it sticks around for a while and other chains start popping in because that, that would be good. We want the other restaurants as well. Uh, we want other businesses. Yeah, businesses, we, restaurants, I mean, whatever. We yeah, do, we do have a serious lack of, of, of restaurants. And, here, so. and um, not not serious lack of restaurants, well, uh, lack of variety. Yeah. But we do have one that's opening, hopefully, in April. Yes. Rimview Terrace. Yes. yes. Rimview Terrace. Yeah, Rimview Terrace. I'm, I'm really looking forward to that. So am I. Because yeah. that's that's an out-of-page thinking. Yeah, that definitely. <laughs> that's going to be some high-end, cool stuff, right? It, it is, it is. Yeah, definitely. And, and, and as was stated, I'm bringing New York to Page. Yay! Apparently, <laughs> that's amazing. With our very own Gordon Ramsay. But anyway. <laughs> <laughs> and says, uh, ah, competition equals lower prices. Exactly. Yes. And changes in mindset. Because when there's competition, things get better. Yes. Competition is a good thing. This place has been a stagnant cesspool for too long. The more stuff that comes in, the better. Wrong show. What the I'm just saying, man. I've been here a long time. <laughs> I am excited to see things change up a little bit. <laughs> oh, boy. Anyway, yeah. Moving on. All right, let's see. Uh, Anne says, uh, like Arrow and Sage. Arrow and Sage. Uh, uh, um, streets to fix. Oh, see. <laughs> that, that Domino's can do. I know, right? <laughs> There's, there's, we have so many roads. That, oh yeah. uh, Carrie says, okay, okay, bye bye. No, I'm not yelling at you. It's just the general sentiment. People are like, well, I would rather have this. Well, the only one that wants to come into town right now is Domino's. Uh, yeah. And, so and it's more... not like you can be like, no, we don't want you. We want a Chick-fil-A. Well, did you go talk to Chick-fil-A? Because Domino's is the one that's got the money in hand saying, hey, we want this. Yeah, and and, and this is, this <clears> is um, <throat> one of the things that I have discovered because I've actually researched. Yes. Um, trying to bring in other businesses um, and other types of industry, a lot of them, well, actually 99% of them, 
won't even look at us because our year-round population isn't high enough mm -hmm. for when tourism uh, what um, decreases or because yeah, the see, economy it disappears. Yeah. I was going to say, if tourism collapses, then the restaurant has to be able to self-sustain mm -hmm. in this population that's there. They take out the tourism, they're like, okay, will the store be self-sustainable if there aren't any tourists? And the answer for most of them is no. <laughs> right. So, I mean, when when a national like this wants to come in, it's like, great, because then more national or other types of businesses, including local ones, mm -hmm. will look and go, oh, wait a minute. We and, are getting bigger. And you know, the other cool thing about having the Domino's, too, I mean, that's like 15, 20 new jobs right there. Yeah. You know, it is. You know, you got to have managers, you got to have drivers, you got to have cooks, you got to have, I mean, mm -hmm. bang. Yay. <clears throat> now we just need to get houses. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Anne says, uh, I want an ice skating rink. <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> oh, man. Oh. Carrie says, forgive oh. my lack of vision. It's okay, Carrie. We still love you. We love you. We're just oh, trying to explain just... it for because it's so important to get that vitalization in here. You it know? is. And it so is. hard to actually make it happen. Uh, Carrie says, uh, me too. For the, oh, for, for the, the ice, ice skating rink. rink. Yeah. Mm, um, a real Starbucks. Yeah, good luck with that. <laughs> They're they're one of the main ones that um that yeah the population isn't uh, for I don't for a that. brick and mortar I don't believe it B freaking S man you go into that Starbucks it takes you a half hour to an hour to get a crappy cup of coffee that's all I'm saying there that place is jam packed if they had a real one I bet you people would be lined up all over for it. Just saying. I'm just talking about they look at the year round population. I you know what? It's a <laughs> coffee what shop, not a restaurant, man. <laughs> Everybody, you know that? There's almost 8,000 people in page. 8,000 cups of coffee right there. I'm just saying. BS. Yeah, I, that, that is one of the things that does annoy the bejesus out of me is when we do get something like that. It's like, what happened with that? You know, Starbucks is supposed to have amazing coffee and this and that. It sucks. I hate it. But, you know, at least it's a business from out of town. But it's jammed in Safeway. It's always got... It's that. <laughs> There is no redeeming quality to that place at all in this town. I'm just saying. Get a real store. Get out of Safeway. Do something. I don't know what it is. Whatever when you're did, doing, you're doing it improperly. When did this turn into a controversy? I don't know. <laughs> it's not controversy. I'm just on a rant. <laughs> Wait. Um, Gina, Gina saying Stromboli's oh. delivers. I didn't know they deliver here. Yeah, maybe. I know they deliver in Cottonwood. Do they? I don't know. All right, well, maybe. I, I didn't know they even had delivery drivers. Neither did I. Well, I don't think I take out. That's interesting. Uh -huh. We'll have to look into that. I've never heard of that, Gina. Yeah, neither have Thanks I. Thanks for passing. See, and that, well, there you go. There's, there's a problem right there. If they deliver, how come we don't know about it? I have been living here for how long? <laughs> and I don't know that they deliver. Whose fault is that? <laughs> do they, I mean, do they not want to deliver? Do they just not advertise? What? I did. Mm. <laughs> anyway. Uh, shh. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Oh. Uh, Carrie says uh, the foster Aww. babies are leaving today. Oh, that's very sad. It well, is, give them is. a good a good squish is, and a pet. That party. is why I cannot foster. Yes, I know. <laughs> and says, ooh, ooh, red lobster. Oh. Yeah. yeah I, I, I know remember. it's not real seafood. I don't but care. It, it, yeah. <laughs> when, I was, when I was a kid growing up, going to red lobster, we dressed up, man. Uh, yeah, we, we dressed too. up every time because it was a very special occasion. It was. So I have fond memories of Red Lobster, even though I hate seafood. <laughs> but they had the seafood that I liked, which is lobster and shrimp. <laughs> and then they had this clam chowder with those cheese biscuits. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> so good. But yeah, a Red Lobster would be amazing. Yeah. It's just a little horrifying being in a landlocked state. Yeah, I know. I love it. I love it when they're like, Fresh seafood, like, dude, there's not an ocean for like 2,000 miles in any direction. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's not that far. It was an exaggeration, but I'm just saying. Uh, let's see. Dave says, uh, Carrie, it's good to hear more voices than the ones in my head. Don't you ever apologize for having an opinion? Exactly. Right. Very much so. Dave, good for putting that out there. And Carrie's going to do the fish. Oh, the little puppies. Oh, uh, little puppy puppy face. Puppy. Yeah, pet the puppies for us. Yes. Uh, let's see. David says, I think it's also the good old girl network. Yeah. 
It is, but we just refer to it as the good old boy network. Uh, yeah, it's. it's Let's get me started on that. Uh, yeah, that's that's another. Carrie show. says, "Whatever happened to the chilies that was coming?" They looked at the numbers and probably ran away. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Not a clue. Yeah, I don't know on that one. Gina says, uh, "Roller rink." <laughs> Actually, what? I don't think that one would work because most of them have been closing down. Yeah, Due they're to, they're uh, on the decline. Popularity. So unless there was a massive marketing campaign and all that. Yeah. I mean, it would be fun. I think it, it would be. Drive-in movie theater. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That'd be that fun. That one, I think, I think would, yeah. would go well. I think so, too. I think a drive-in movie would <laughs> be great. <laughs> and those are actually coming back. Yeah, I know. Yeah, they, they are coming back. And, and you know what? We have the perfect weather for it, like, 99% of the time. <laughs> you know? All right, get on that. Chop, chop. Right. <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> uh, Anne says, uh, yeah, but tourism is now year-round. Right, but what happens if the tourism falls because you know, another na- another nation's you know currency declines or something? That's the thing that they have to look at. Will it self-sustain? Mm-hmm. And, you know, I think they probably would, but, you know, I'm not a multi-million, billion-dollar corporation that has people to analyze this crap for me. So, you know, we got to get him to take a closer look. No, he has me. <laughs> And here we are. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, you just pet me, you twit. <laughs> Speaking and of which, there's an appointment today. There is? Oh. It's okay. Friday. Okay. <laughs> All right, let me get back on the comments over here. Uh, let's see. David says, uh, cesspool, like Ro- Rose, Rose Lake, Lake Recreation. Recreation. I don't know where that is, David, but probably. <laughs> uh, let's see. Ed says, uh, they need to come up here and stay year round before making that decision. Right. But then they have to pay somebody to do it and all that stuff. And they and... have to find a house. <laughs> yeah. Good luck with that. <laughs> <laughs> I know that's horrible, but uh, yeah, it's yeah. true, though. Uh, let's see. Dave says, a full Starbucks requires opening three locations to obtain a standalone franchise. I was looking into opening one. That's the reason we don't have one. Oh, okay. Oh, that makes sense. Good Lord. Yeah, all right. Well, that that explains why we don't have one, then. Scott says, uh, what they are doing wrong is they have Safeway employees running it that have not been trained by Starbucks. Really? I thought I thought all Starbucks had Starbucks employees. I, I didn't know that. I guess that makes sense. No wonder. It, never mind. Anyway, <laughs> Gina says, uh, well, at least used to. I used to work there 34 years ago. As far as I know, they don't deliver, but... We can call them and ask them. Yeah, we can. Uh, let's see. Carrie says, uh, like they know. I'm not sure uh-huh. which. Probably, I guarantee you. <laughs> Cheetah says, uh, $3 a car night, LOL. Drive-in theater. Oh, yes. <laughs> well, I, I think it'd probably be more expensive than that because uh, you yeah. got to make... If it's not profitable, then there's no point in opening the thing. Uh, right. I mean, <laughs> it's just... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you got to cover the initial investment, the land cost, the screen. you got to license the movies. I mean, yeesh. Yeah. It gets a little out of hand. It does. So well, that's <laughs> one of those things. Yeah, $3 would be nice, but this is not the 70s anymore. <laughs> Just saying. I think, la- more. I think the last time I went to, <clears throat> excuse me, a drive-in theater, it was a double feature. Mm-hmm. Me too. And it was $5 a vehicle. Yeah, see, that, I don't know if that's sustainable or not. No. It's I, probably going to have to go the, more. I, it probably will because this was around 20 years ago. <laughs> yeah, see? The, and that's the last time I went to a drive-in movie theater. It was in Colorado. And uh, it was, what was it? It was a double feature. It was Independence Day and uh, the Arnold Schwarzenegger movie Eraser. Oh, okay. Were, it was a double feature. And it was great. I don't remember how much we paid, but it was a lot of fun. We had a good time. Good. Yeah. Uh, so I think that would be really cool. But yeah, I think it's going to be a bit more than $3, at least if we want it to stick around for more than six months. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, I'd be willing to pay, you know, a, a bit more just for the, you know, the experience. I think it'd be fun. Sinbin's Passion Pits? Uh, I'm not sure what that is, David. Mm. <laughs> and says, uh, no, the Starbucks here won't accept a lot of other Starbucks <gasps> gift cards either. Really? Wow. That's just weird. <laughs> but you know what? That doesn't surprise me. Let's see, Carrie says, uh, I meant the puppies. It's like they know I'm taking them and leaving them. Oh, oh and they're looking at me with those little puppy eyes. Oh, oh, oh. oh. It's oh, very goodness. sad. Very sad. Gina says, uh, just joking about it, just a memory. Hey, yeah, <laughs> it would be nice for $3 a, a car. Yeah, it would be, but it's definitely not sustainable. Uh, no, no. Not anymore. Yeah, I don't, I don't even know. <laughs> Yeah, so so apparently our show is derailed from uh, uh, yeah. comedy to uh, you know controversy. Contro- <laughs> well, economic development in the future. Yeah, oh, Lord. <laughs> Excuse me. 
Oh, goodness oh, gracious. Nice. Nothing, nothing. Well, hopefully it's still entertaining. We're having a conversation with hey, our audience. That here. we are. That See, we are. There you go. There's your boiling <laughs> entertainment. Will you stop doing that? I almost fell backward. No, I know. Quit. I'm trying to. No, don't lock that. She won't lock it, but she keeps tipping over. Get your legs out from under you and you won't tip over. That's horrible. So basic coming here. Maybe if I just... Uh, no, stop. <laughs> you usually have your feet all over me. I'm just trying to tip you over there. I'll laugh with a poof. Yeah, and then there go our ratings. Yeah. She fell over on live TV. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh goodness, the comments. Just... David says, uh, RLR Rec Area, a.k.a. the sewer treatment plant on the way into town. Oh, okay, mm. yes. Now, yeah, the honey pond. All right, that's what he's talking about. Oh, honey okay. Pots. All right, now I got you, David. Now I got you. Yeah, the honey pot. <laughs> yeah, the cesspool we were yeah, talking about. Yeah. He was trying to, to to describe it to us. Yes, he's talking about the honey pot. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I would so love to move those. I mean, I, yeah, I, I know you can't. <laughs> I, I know you can't. But I, I you can tell that that when when Page was was built and the major infrastructure. Um, was put into place. You can tell it was not planned to last forever. No, it was a work <laughs> camp. It, yeah, it was planned to get the dam done and then scatter to the four winds. Yeah, pretty much. And uh, <laughs> oh my! <laughs> yeah, I think the worst possible location for it. It, but hey, it is. I mean, no one knew that that Paige was gonna do what it did. But oh, yeah, if, if, if you could just, if you could just, you know, take like a magic wand and move. <laughs> Somewhere else. That'd be nice, but yeah, definitely not happen. <laughs> but yeah, no. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Oh my god. So goodness. yeah, let's see. Um, what else is there? So yeah, the Domino's thing is. It's, I'm, I'm pretty stoked for it. Like I said I'm not. It's a pizza place, but it, it's exciting that it's new. I, yes, I'm. So. I'm excited because of the opportunity that that it'll help bring. Yeah. It, you know. Um, it's a start. Get the foot in the door. Yeah, and and we've we've got um, Rimview Terrace opening up this year. I'm pretty stoked. About uh, so am I. And if this goes through with the council, and and goes as planned, um, then they're projecting opening the Dominoes in 2020, and so that gives a year for other things to go in because, of course, these people and Rimview will be advertising. Hey, we're you know this is what we're doing. Oh, and by the way, if you guys are looking for uh, you know sponsorship opportunities, get your name out there. Let's know. <laughs> <laughs> <Just say. laughs> yeah, Domino's is not a sponsor of the show yet. <laughs> oh boy! What? Oh boy! <laughs> <Just saying. laughs> you know, so I'm I am I'm excited about the opportunities. Um, and there's a year in between, and and who knows what what else will come in. You know? like, uh, city like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get. Purred much. Yeah. I, I, I just want us to do it the right way. Yeah, pretty much. You know, um, because we do need housing as well. <laughs> right, but the, it's a catch-22, man. I know it is. Catch-22. I know it is. Catch-22. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Although, you know, I do find it interesting that they're putting it in Block 17, because I know they're trying to do that whole downtown revitalization uh -huh. thing. Well, I mean, putting another restaurant oh. in there, that works. Speaking of uh, speaking of Block 17, oh. um, you were explaining earlier that a lot of people don't know... Yeah, what it, the heck it is, yeah. What, what it is. When when we were looking at the um, agenda last night, mm -hmm. next to Block 17 in parentheses, it said City Center. Mm -hmm. So I think I, I think the city's trying to... Rebrand it to Rebrand it to City even though, Center. <laughs> even though it's technically not center, it's off-kilter, <laughs> apparently that's going to be the center. <laughs> Who knows, man? I don't even know. <laughs> All right, yeah, guys. I noticed that last night. I'm like, huh, I wonder if they're trying to, you know, yeah, change the name and... <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, that is all we have time for today. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for liking, commenting, and sharing on all of these videos. And, uh, yeah, today was an interesting show. It was. It Thank really you for was. being here. Uh, have an amazing day. Have an epic day. It's Friday. <laughs> <laughs> and don't forget to look forward to the flaming peeps of doom. Oh, goodness. Yay. <laughs> oh, wait. Oh, oh boy. He is not going to be flaming. <laughs> he will not be on fire. Bye, everybody. <laughs> Bye, guys. <laughs>